Hi, everybody. I'm Nancy O'Dell with E.T. at the movies. The hospital staff said that your son was not expected to survive. Use the word miracle. Your son had a near-death experience. He saw things that I can't really explain. I lifted up and I looked down. Mom was in one room. You were in another room yelling at God. There's been a huge influx, it seems, of faith-based movies. Why do you think they're right. so popular right now? You know, when this script came up, I had read at Noah earlier, I guess like the year before, and I knew the movie was getting made. But when I was like flipping through the script, it was like, wow, this is really like an epic like action film. And then Heaven came up. Those are the only two I knew about. And then, you know, the Bible airs on History Channel, and then boom, you know, son of God, God isn't dead, Noah's coming out, heaven is for real. You know, you're hearing about the Ridley Scott Exodus, you know, remake that's coming out in the fall. Quite frankly, I didn't know there was this clot of all these movies that, you know, that were gonna come out. A year ago, when I when I went and talked to Joe Roth and Randall about this movie, there, there, there wasn't any uh, premeditation about, uh, hey, we'll open in the Noah zone, or, uh, you know, any of these other movies suddenly have come on, and, 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 and it does seem like there's suddenly a, a surprising, uh, a number of them that deal with things of uh, spirit, spiritual and, and you know, God-related, biblical stories. And whether or not that, that is uh, some sort of calculation with, with studios or whether it's just a So you didn't plan on catching the Noah wave, so to speak. I didn't, didn't plan on catching it, but, uh, but, you know, suddenly, yes, we find ourselves in the midst of, of some other stories like that. But I do think it's sort of cyclical. I do. Because if you look back, you know, in 50s, 60s, man, they were all over the place and they were huge.